Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. If you've been chatting with me in Discord or in comments, you know that I got... <coughs> <coughs> as much as I hate it, uh, somewhere right around New Year's, I picked up COVID. Despite being vaccinated and doing my best efforts, I think we picked it up from a family event. And I've been down for a couple weeks with that. I'm feeling really good. I'm still not completely recovered. As a matter of fact, you're going to see some pauses and edits in this video as I still have a cough. Uh, even though I'm symptom free, I tested negative now. But yeah, so it is 2022 and it is time to rock and roll. I've got so much energy and excitement I'm ready to get the farm reworked and get things up and running for the new year here. We're going to start out with a simple uh, maintenance video here that I want to talk to you guys about. And what has happened is this solo test rig. So this is the rig I usually do card testing on. And a couple of weeks ago, it started giving me problems. And I'm gonna walk you through some of the symptoms, what I did and what's going on with it and how I got it working. But I would love to know your feedback on how you troubleshoot your cards, your rigs, and then just add anything that uh, maybe I didn't cover or I didn't think of that might be able to help other community members out. So first of all, the symptoms were this rig, it's a mixed card rig. There's LHR cards on here. There's some non LHR cards and there's various models, 3060 TIs, 3060s and a 3080. And it's been up and running fine. It's sort of been a hodgepodge until I got all the models I wanted in to build new rigs out of them. Now what happened was even though this rig had been stable, everything was working fine. I noticed over the course of about a week, it started going offline in Hive OS. And so the first thing I always recommend that you do is take a look in Hive OS and see, was there any updates maybe that you did to the operating system that you didn't remember? And if so, do you need to step that back out? Maybe that's the cause of whatever issue it is that you're seeing. And then the second thing I look for when I'm trying to figure out, you know, my test priority to troubleshoot is uh, settings. Did I make any setting changes? Did I change anything on the overclocks? And if so, I'll go back and look at maybe what I had documented on the original overclocks so that I can back those out and switch back to what I had. So that's the first thing I always do is see if there was anything that I did to a stable rig that, that knocked it off kill, that got it out of whack. Everything looked good there. So then I came out here to the mining farm to troubleshoot. And what I discovered was that everything looks just as it does now, except you'll notice that I have two 3060s right here. And you see this light that's right here on the back of the GPU. On this particular card, the light was not on. So my next thought when I'm troubleshooting kind of in this process is that it's either a riser or a power delivery problem. So for those of you that might be new to mining or you're trying to figure out how to troubleshoot your rig, those are two really good hot spots for you to always look in to get started is to check out your riser and maybe even replace the riser before you go into any deep troubleshooting. And then always, you know, equally important, maybe even do this first, is your power delivery. And that includes your power cables. Think about your splitters. Think about the wattage on the power supply, whether you've got things turned up too high or, or whatnot, and then go from there. So what I did with this rig was I identified which cards weren't running. So at the time when I was troubleshooting this, the rig was up, but two cards were not mining. They were completely offline. Now I told you that the light on this one was off, so that gave me a pretty good clue that it was having some issues and probably power issues. And then the second thing I did is I, I took my laser thermometer and I shot the back of all the cards to check the heat to see which one specifically out here was not mining. And once I identified those two cards, it was basically this and a 3070 NVIDIA 3070 Founders Edition card. What I decided to do first was go ahead and replace the risers and see if that helped. And then knowing in the back of my mind, I was gonna to have to address power on this to see uh, what was going on with this power light. So I replaced the risers and sure enough, the 3070 came back up, 
So it was mining, the rest of the rig was mining, everything was good there. Something happened with the riser and it appeared that power and everything was good with it because it was up and mining, power cables looked good. Now on this one, I went ahead, like I said, and I had replaced the riser, but it still didn't come back up. And I had visually inspected the rig over here. The power cables looked good, the splitters, everything looked good. I didn't see any uh, flame marks or smoking or anything like that, no evidence of any flame. So I decided to dig a little bit deeper into that. And I went ahead and um, took one of the splitters that was on here thinking that that's possibly the problem, that there was a failure, and I replaced that. And the card still didn't come up, still did not mine. So this is where it gets, it gets interesting. So from there, I took the next step. I said, well, let me start swapping out some of the power cables that go from the splitter into the HP server power supply breakout board over here. And you can see kind of the angle that I'm at and how I was looking at everything, how I couldn't get a good look right here at the breakout board. And that's when I came around here to unplug everything and swap out the, what I was gonna do is unplug all the power cables and put uh, two new power cables in to support the cards that were having issues. Well, once I got on this side, let me show you this is this is a working breakout board right now let me grab what i saw yeah so here it is check this out now this when i got back there it was fully populated this whole thing was populated with power cables just like this one is right here so my angle to it was kind of like this and i couldn't see these burn marks right here very well right off the bat so i started pulling I decided to uh, replace these cables, so I started pulling out the power cables, and I couldn't get these out. And then that's when I kind of leaned down here, and I got a really good look at the side of this thing. And that's when I realized I had a bigger issue. So at some point, look at this, at some point, these ports burnt out, and these two power cables became fused with the ports. Interestingly enough, everything else stayed up. I, I could actually keep the rig up and running, um, but yeah, these ports obviously were not working, were not functioning. Now, so root cause analysis, what, what happened? What happened here? Well, because I didn't spot it at the time of the failure, I'll never, probably never know exactly what it was, but here's probably what happened. Now, this is a, like I said, a multi-card rig. Anytime you're doing maintenance on here, on really any rig, but especially cards with different models in there, in Hive OS, you always want to put this in maintenance mode before you move GPUs around, before you unplug stuff and start it back up. And if not, what can happen is, is the order of the GPUs and the overclocks can get out of sync. And you can actually have your overclocks for your 3080 <clears throat> assigned to maybe a 3060 and so it's entirely possible i was thinking over the previous weeks that uh when i had done some maintenance that i did not put it in maintenance mode possibly and some of the overclocks may have gotten applied and this thing just got it just really got overloaded so that's one possibility the other is if you all know the solo rig, I have just I do a lot of my solo card testing on here. And because I'm using an HP server power supply that supports both 120 volt and 240 volt, for the longest time I had this single card, I mean the single rig with a single card on it plugged in to 120 volt AC. And the reason I did that was because I wanted a watt meter on here. So that's what I had this rig running on. So at some point, once I started adding some more cards, I got more cards in, on 120 volt, these HP server power supplies can't push as much wattage. I think if you do the 80% rule, you're somewhere around just over 700 watts, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering right. Now, because you only get 900 watts max on 120 volt, so if you do the 80% rule, you're like at what, 720, I think, uh, watts. So it's possible I pushed this thing pretty hard on 120 volt. Now I did switch it over in the last month from 120 volt to 240 volt once I loaded up all the cards. 
but I'm thinking somewhere in there of moving from 120 to 240, maybe putting this, uh, not putting this in maintenance mode, that some settings didn't get applied properly. I added a, a new card and they got out of sync, settings didn't get applied properly, and we just got an overload. So what I'm disappointed in is that I wish I had caught it at the time that it happened because this is exactly one reason I have all my GPUs in a shed so that if it were to completely catch fire and burn down, it wouldn't burn the house down, it'd burn a shed down. Maybe I need to put a smoke detector in here um, up along with all the other security and monitoring systems that I've got. Maybe I put a smoke detector, a nest smoke detector or something like that up here on the ceiling so I can monitor and I don't know, maybe it would have picked up the smoke, maybe not, it may not have been enough. So yeah, I think that just kind of documents the whole incident. You guys let me know when you're troubleshooting, is that kind of the order you go by risers, power distribution, uh, and then go from there. Now, some of you did ask in some of the comments, I think I tweeted this out, what board this was. It is a Nerd Gears board. And in defense, I think the issue was not the board. I think it was everything that I was doing with the rig that I already talked to you about. But also this board is several years old. So it's destined to fail at some point. And the cables as well, let's say it was a cable failure and, and, you know, and I don't know it. These cables, these specific cables actually came off the very first rig that I ever built back in 2017. And so they are several years old. So there's some possibilities there as well with age. But yeah, so these are the things that I replace and I kind of go down that line. You guys let me know what you think. If I missed something, if there was a better suggestion, put it in the comments below. But the good news is I got a new breakout board in there. We got all the power cables hooked up. It is up and mining. And now I get to reorganize the farm, build some new rigs because I got some new cards in. And we'll cover that in some upcoming videos. So hopefully this was helpful just to give you a mindset of kind of how I tackle this type of situation and just to let you see what happened exactly here. All right, guys, I'll end there. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, Raptors. Bye-bye.